Greetings Wax Guilds, Ross here from Eosphere. I just wanted to take a moment to run you through Heads Up, our monitoring and alerts platform. Heads Up is run in a private instance in your own data center, spun up in Docker. It monitors the Antelope software, it monitors Atomic API, and it monitors Hi Hyperion. Um, it also provides alerts inside of the dashboard and via email and Slack at this point. So let's get cracking for a bit of a demo. Okay, the place to start is the Eosphere GitHub page, uh, which is github.com forward slash Eosphere, and then just click on Heads Up Monitoring and Alerts, um, where you get an overview of the Heads Up Antelope Monitoring and Alerts platform, all about us encouraging healthy infrastructure and blockchain service delivery. Um, this is where you'll get the latest Docker Compose file um, and a link through to the configuration and deployment guide. Uh, the actual um, Heads Up platform uses uh, two Docker instances. One of them is the front end, another one is the ingester. The ingester is what pulls all the detail from the nodes that you'll be monitoring, and then the front end is obviously just the, the graphical website where you'd be able to configure and see what's going on. Um, the config and deployment guide is pretty detailed. It shows you what hardware and software requirements there are and walks through the setting up of it. Uh, there is a small bit of configuration. I reckon 20 minutes, you should be able to get your first heads up instance deployed. Um, once you know exactly how it works and what kind of configuration that you would want, you, you could literally spin it up in a few minutes. But all of the details in here, just walk through it and um, and then uh, fire it up. When you first launch Heads Up, you'll be able to get into the front end um, through the local IP address and port 80. Um, in this case, I've just spun up a, a demo environment and there's a DNS entry. You can see the Heads Up is actually sitting behind a load balancer for this. So this is demo.esphere.io. You can go click on it. It uh, should still be up when this video is up. Um, and you'll be greeted with this is the main page, right? Um, on the left-hand side, you can see a navigational uh, bar, uh, Wax Mainnet and Wax Testnet. I've set both of those up. Um, what's pretty cool about Heads Up is you can add multiple different chains and they just rack up on the left-hand side. Uh, in the middle is like the overview. Um, as you add more chains, uh, testnets, etc., they'll take up extra block blocks. Um, but you can see these are all the nodes that we've actually got configured and you can see that they're currently showing active wax testnet there's just a bp that's configured and you can see a claimer hasn't run um, when uh, when you first start there'll be nothing in here and, and you will need to actually go and add a new uh, node um, and you can see that there doesn't appear to be any way to add it except you have to unlock so you just there's a password that would have been set up and you unlock it and now you'll be able to see that inside each of the chains that you create uh, you can add a node but you start by adding a specific chain whatever the chain might be the chain type you can see that we've got uh, pre-configured chains uh, there'll be pre-configured chains and and icons like for instance if you click on the wax the wax icon uh, you put your BP name in because that is where everything starts from is the actual name of the, the BP account name, uh, chain ID, and then what sort order you want in this list for the chains. Um, and then inside each one of those chains, you can add a node. Uh, there are multiple node types, block producer, a Nodius follower, a Hyperion, an Atomic, and if you just want to monitor a website. The whole way that it works is that the block producer is like the root. It's the starting point for all nodes to gauge their performance against. So a Nodius follow would be a normal sort of public node, uh, seed node, etc. It would always uh, measure its block synchronization against the block producer. All right. So um, you would add the new node, add the IP address, port, and what sort order you wanted it in the list. If you go and click on um, what, uh, one of the ones that we have already, like a public node there, and you can see how we've set it up. So it's an internal IP address with a port and a specific sort order. Um, so you have your home, you have your multiple chains, and then inside each one of these chains, you've got multiple um, actual nodes themselves. 
uh, for, so when you click out of home, you can click into wax uh, or whatever your chain is. You better get a list of exactly what nodes are configured and a little bit more detail than you would have got on the home screen. So home just basically says these are active. These are the nodes. Then if you click in the chain that you've created, you better see all the, the specific nodes. You can see that here we've got three different node types, a Nodius, Hyperion and Atomic. And inside each one of these, you'll be able to see that, um, you know, where uh, the, the little bit more detailed statistics of what's going on. And you can add more statistics on this main page. Like for instance, uh, you know, what is, how much uh, database is free. And now you can see that all of the node, Nodius uh, nodes here can show you what kind of chain state data, database is free. And, um, and yeah, you can add them in that and it'll just uh, keep, um, pushing them out across the screen has claimer run on the block producer yes it has run etc etc you'll see there's quite a few metrics here that you can add it's quite fun to just play around with them and see what's going on um, you can then go in another level which is in the like for instance this is the BP itself you click onto the BP and you can see all the other specific um, metrics that are available for you to quickly see exactly what's going on has the producer produced has the claimer run uh, the total number of votes what the bp rank is um, and um, you can click on the metrics and alerts and you can see the various um, metrics that can be added connects latency head block chain id etc now the metrics are like the the base viewable metrics informational but nothing will be done with them until you add a specific alert to them. So if you click on alerts, you can then make it, make it a little bit more granular. For instance, we can we can set up a, an alert to say that, you know, if there isn't, you know, 60 uh, gigs of free database size, then please send an alert, right? Um, yeah, I think that's that. So that, anyhow, so there you can see see the database size um, is is only forty gigs uh, available. So an alert will be sent now. Uh, an alert is now sent through to Slack, through to email, and through to this main page. So if we go back in here and we say that we're only really going to be concerned with maybe ten gigs of alert. Uh, 10 gigs uh, free then send an alert it should actually just clear what we've already done and there we go it's cleared because obviously there's a lot more free space um, at the moment there's 40 gigs free all right okay so if we go just I just want to show you you can see that here's the head block that's been monitored and then everything else um, uh, well, here's the block producer head block and then everything else is monitoring against the block producer head block. So it's an awesome way to make sure that all your nodes stay in sync. And if you go into each one of these nodes, have a look at the various metrics that are, oops, sorry, the various metrics that are available. Um, you can add those metrics and then make actions, actions to uh, alert on if they fall out of uh, what your predefined values are. And the same thing can be done with Hyperion. You can see our Hyperion data is, is uh, using the new format, you know, where it shows you, you know, are you missing any blocks, the number of active shards, um, you know, what's the RabbitMQ status, RPC status, Elastic status, etc. And you know what version it is. So you can make sure that you're always staying in sync and everything is appropriately indexed or alert you if anything, if anything goes wrong. The same thing with Atomic. Atomic, we can we actually uh, are just doing a uh, what is the head block, what is the reader number, and we see if there's any kind of difference. We find that this does fall in and out a few times, you know, maybe by one block or so. Uh, so it's best if you create an alert to give yourself a bit of a threshold. But nice to be able to go in and see if everything is okay, uh, see what versions you're running, um, etc. And then here on the test net, you can see. The Wax Testnet BP is the only one that I've got running on the testnet at the moment, but great to see what kind of version. We can see that the claimer hasn't run. If we click on the top right hand side, you better see the bell, um, exactly what kind of errors that we've got. Now, if we had to run that claimer now, it would clear this um, and it also just keep a record of what kind of alerts are in here. So um, 
you know, the idea is to just make it very easy for you to monitor all of your infrastructure. I know some of the veteran guilds would really have all of their own bespoke type monitoring. Um, but, uh, you know, if you wanted a quick monitoring solution for a test network, or if you were a new guild or a developer, maybe a, 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 a DAP developer, and that runs your own infrastructure, this is a really simple way for you to get information about your infrastructure and if everything is actually uh, working according. Now, um, Heads Up is continuously being developed on. We are f always fixing little bugs and adding new features. Um, we expect it to get uh, a lot more feature rich month on month. And um, I'd love it if you perhaps joined our Telegram group and uh, get, get testing it and give me some feedback if there's anything that you think that we should be adding. But um, you know, the ESFIA team are quite proud of it and we are certainly using it um, as our own tool as well. So uh, see you all in the Telegram. Thanks for watching.